Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract files on Windows computers and on Mac OS X. Alright, so if you have a Windows 8 computer, then this process is really simple. All you have to do is right-click the file and click the Extract button. However, since I don't have a Windows 8 computer and the Extract option on Windows 8 is actually quite limited to only a few file types, uh, I'm going to show you how to download a free software that extracts almost all compressed file types on pretty much all Windows computers. Anyway, so the software I'm talking about is WinRAR, and I really felt like I needed to make this tutorial because most WinRAR videos on YouTube show you how to download it, but the downloads often contain malware and even viruses. So follow everything that I do in this tutorial, and you won't download any malware or viruses at all. Also, it says WinRAR is a trial. Well, that's actually false. The full version is really a gimmick because the trial version lasts forever. Believe me, I've used uh, this software on other computers, and I know tons of other people that use it as well, and um, it hasn't ran out for them, so don't worry. Okay, so the first step is going on this website and clicking the download button. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, as you can see, my anti-security software says it's safe, so you don't really have to worry about viruses. However, that doesn't mean that it doesn't contain malware, so pay attention to what I do next. Alright, so as you can see, I double click the winrar.exe and um, it should open a loading window and it's going to take a while, so just wait for it to load and I'll show you the installation. Alright, so once it's loaded, you're going to click custom installation, you don't want to click express, and then you're just going to uncheck all the boxes and then click skip all. Alright, so right about now, a box should pop up. Right, right over here. And um, it does say that it's a 40-day trial. That's completely false. If it is a trial, then it lasts forever. So you don't have to worry about buying the full version because the trial lasts forever. Um, yeah, this is just the terms and agreement. You can just click install right over here. And uh, once you do that, you're going to click the um, checkbox for the .jar so you can decompress .jar files. And before you click OK, I would also probably add a WinRAR to start menu. Uh, you could add one for the desktop, I don't think I will. And um, after that, you're just going to click OK. Then um, click Done, and OK again. Um, note that I downloaded a 32-bit version for a 64-bit computer. You can do that, except if you have a 32-bit computer and you download a 64-bit version. Uh, but I don't really think that should be much of a problem. Anyway, so. Um, to extract files, you're going to right-click the file and click Extract. And um, then we're just going to click Extract and Replace, Ask Before Overwrite. Uh, pretty much just leave everything as it is and click OK. And now it's going to extract the file and it should take a couple of seconds. Alright, so now I'm just going to close this window. The file has been extracted. Um, as you can see, when I open it up, all the files are there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now I'm going to skip to the Mac part of the tutorial. Alright, so I'm on my Mac, and as you can see, that's a .zip file. Now all I'm going to do is right-click this to decompress, and then click Open With. And then I'm just going to open with the Archive Utility. It's literally that simple, just to decompress zip files. But if you want to decompress .isos or uh, .rars, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download another application. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right, so what you're going to do is open up the App Store and uh, type in the Unarchiver, and it should be the first thing that pops up. Um, all you have to do is install it. As you can see, I already have it installed. It's a pretty good software. It pretty much decompresses like pretty much every file that I can think of that's um, compressed. And um, it also decompresses some .exe files that are on Windows computers, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, now I'm going to show you how to use it, and it's pretty simple. Alright, so uh, I have Minecraft opened, and what I'm going to do is right-click it again, and I'm going to click Open with the Unarchiver. And it pretty much works the same way as the Archive Utility does, um, except this window is going to pop up. You're just going to click Extract. Um, this usually doesn't pop up if you give you the application, uh, I think, universal access or something like that, but um, we're just going to click extract anyway. It does the same thing. Um, anyway, so as you can see, the, um, the archive utility, uh, the default one, works the same way as the unarchiver, but the plus side for the unarchiver is that 
it can open up files such as .isos and .rars, not .jars. Um, these, cannot, these cannot be opened by um, the, unarchive, the archive utility, but can be opened by the unarchiver. Um, so that's really why you should download it. Uh, but um, yeah, if this video helped you, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Beat time.